Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th. So yeah, this is for July 30th. We're just going to see what comes up. This is just a daily message. It's not sign specific. Um, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. The timing is fluid. Um, this is a message from my guides. Let's see what we get. This is for the 30th or thereabouts daily tarot reading. What do we got? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for the 30th? What do we got for the 30th? What do we have for the 30th? This is just an overall energy right here. I need one card. Here it is. <laughs> the star. Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So we got some happy changes that are about to com come about. This is a dream come true with the star card. The future looks bright. Okay. This is a bright opportunity. This is relief. It is relief. It's a time of hope. I don't know if I should take that card or what. The high priest just reversed. This is not knowing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's what this is. I don't know. And it's funny, I said I don't know if I should take this card or not. You may not realize that there's a bright future, but there is. And you may not even see it. You may not be seeing things clearly. You may not be aware that the future looks bright. I'm going to put it back in the deck. Somebody has been through a loss of self. They've been through a repression. Things have been rough. They have been rough. But there is still hope. <laughs> and these challenging times are coming to an end. A blessing is coming. A spiritual renewal. Peace of mind, okay? Peace of mind. So, it looks as though the challenges are just about over for somebody. Hey, man, reverse. No longer stuck. Seeing things through a different perspective. This is your change in perspective. We have somebody here that has been enlightened. Seven of Swords reversed. Be careful. Somebody, you could be getting caught or the truth could be coming out. And, you know, something has been hidden with the high priestess as well. Anyhow, death. Well, it's not a common theme. That is the common thing. This is the end. Okay, it's the end. This is a, this is a transformation. It's a transition. It's a release. Major change. Endings bring new beginnings. There's a reason. This is a card of protection as well. The universe will protect you from things that are not for your highest good. Believe it. Have faith that that is the case because we have a major ending here that has happened for a reason.
Wow. Magician reversed. The Six of Cups? No. Yeah, the Six of Cups reversed. Somebody been clinging to the memories, clinging to the past, not releasing, not taking action, unwilling, unwilling, hmm. unwilling to use their resources to manifest, trying to manifest something that, something from their past that is unrealistic, stubborn, they have a very stubborn energy here, but the universe protected the universe protected somebody and they were unaware without high priestess reverse that it was universal protection. This is somebody seeing something from a new perspective though. No longer resisting change. The, this, is, this is a card of betrayal, lies, deception. This one is too. And they are mirroring each other. So this has been a very challenging time. Somebody has been lied to. Somebody has been deceived, manipulated, dealt with a very tricky situation, but it's over. It's over. Or it's about to be over. This is the page of shields. It's the page of pentacles. This is that new opportunity we've been talking about quite a bit lately. Starting over. This is like starting from scratch. Even though it's not pretty, it's not easy. This is an opportunity to manifest something bigger and better. But you have to broaden your horizons. You have to find your focus and your concentration to start over. Even though you don't know. You don't know what's at the end of the road. you got to do it anyway. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been stalling for quite some time with this hangman. There's been needless sacrifice holding on to the past, but this is realizing that there is a this is realizing that there is a bigger better opportunity. So we got somebody here that is waking up, basically waking up. Um This is, this is a, I mean, the page of pentacles can be a message coming in, somebody making you an offer that, you know, it's a kind of, you've never done it before. You know, you get this, you get this opportunity and you've never experienced before and you have this opportunity to go down this path. So it's like you receive a phone call or you receive a message or something like that that says, you know. Why don't you do this? Why can't one try this? Let's try this. Can we try this? You know, that kind of message. So you could, and this is being open to it. Be open to it. This is the message I was just telling you about the Eight of Wands. So yeah, there's the messages. There's gonna somebody's gonna receive a message that gives them an opportunity to broaden their horizons and start something new. There could be fear of deception, though. That could be a fear. I, I don't know. The Seven of Swords. This is be careful. Be careful. This. Well, we're going to have to get another card for that. Four of Swords. Well. Five of Cups reversed. Realizing that there is another opportunity. No longer crying over that spilled milk. Somebody has been unwilling to let go of the past. Okay, unwilling to let go, unwilling to forgive, focusing on the hurt. But now they're starting to realize that there is another opportunity. They may see an up. There's a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise. There's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Dreams, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a bigger dream here. There's a reason. So I feel as though this is a dead end. It is. Somebody has been enlightened that it is time to get moving and start, start over. Seven of, so seven of wands, this is protecting. 
I'm the king. <laughs> Still on top. I'm going to be on top. I'm going to put myself on top. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to stand my ground and do what I have to do for me. So it appears to me that today we have messages coming back and forth about a new opportunity that has been presented. Somebody is going to be presented with a new opportunity that could grow into something solid. There's a feeling of perseverance here. Really needing or desire or wanting to protect yourself. It's like you're, there's somebody here that is fearful of being manipulated, fearful of being lied to, fearful of being deceived. Because of the past, because of what the memories, what has happened in the past. So my advice is to give this opportunity a chance. Don't let the past keep you stuck. Don't let the past keep you uh, from experiencing your full wish fulfillment. There's definitely going to be messages going back and forth that give somebody an opportunity to go down a new path. We have somebody here that has been holding on to a dead end, mentally exhausted, But it's like it's time to shine again. It's time to live again. And it's like they get this epiphany that it's time to let go. It's time to stop sacrificing myself. The hermit reversed. This is, I don't want to grow old alone. There's been fear of rejection. Somebody has been through a midlife crisis. But now it's time to live again. It's time to come out of hiding. So somebody's about to come out of hiding. Somebody's about to step into the unknown. Oh, we got two. Three of Cups and the Five of Swords reversed. I don't, I just want to be happy. I don't care about being right. I don't care about winning this battle. I don't care about anybody else has to say. At this point in my life, I just want to be happy. I'm going to go celebrate my life. So I feel as this is a, a celebration of life because it's going right here. It's a celebration of life. Okay. So I feel like we have somebody here that is stepping outside of their comfort zone and deciding to open themselves up, socialize, put themselves out there and start over. They are finally letting go, finally releasing. And things are going to move forward pretty quickly because this person has, it's like the decision has been made. There's no, there's no more confusion. They've been enlightened. That this has happened for a reason. It's like they realize, they, they come to this realization, this happened for a reason. And they release this dead end and start dating, start putting themselves out there, start opening up, start, they, maybe they decide to go out. I don't know. I think things are about to change directions pretty quickly. There's a new offer here. I think that you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You know, when I was looking at this card, I was thinking Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which it is. Um, we have everybody here. We have Gemini. We have everybody. We have Virgo. We have everybody, so it really doesn't matter. I feel like it, it's, it's time to be happy again. You know, I just want to be happy, and I can't 
keep holding on to the past. Somebody is no longer holding. I can't keep holding on to it. It's like they receive this, you know, message. It could be from their inner guide. I don't know with the high priestess reversed that they've been ignoring. Okay, the high priestess was reversed. Somebody's been not listening to their inner guide, their intuition. But I think we got somebody here that has come to the realization that it is time to release. I got a new beginning here. There is a new beginning here. It's a new life. Death brings about a new life. So we got a new life that is beginning. This is coming out of stagnation. It is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm ready to have some fun. I'm ready to live. So I feel like this is a, a, a day of um, celebration. It's a day of, you know, awakening. You know, it's a burst of energy. I feel, I do, I feel like that's what it is. I feel like it's like, you know what? I, I'm, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to live again. So I, I feel like that's the shift. It's like a shift. That's what death is. It's a shift. So, yeah, I feel like this is a day of, of, of perhaps deciding that it's time to embark on a, on a new path that I've never been down. And they, somebody's like realizing there is, there's an opportunity for love someplace else. I don't need to invest in this lose-lose situation anymore that has stolen my energy, stolen my power for too long. So anyway, it's the end of taking a break. It's, it's, it's somebody that is deciding to release and allow this transition to happen. So that's what I got. That is what I have. I mean, we have a major shift. Somebody is going to be receiving messages from somebody that they have never dealt with before. That's what this is. This is somebody that, you know, you don't know much about. But it could lead to something big. And you're going to have to face your fears and take a chance. And that's what I got for the 30th. Good luck. <laughs>